Next on the mic, from Randy from CDE will better explain this turnkey operation that we've contracted. Our new partner, hopefully partner for life, Randy with CDE. Come on. Come on. Or, you hear me all right? Well, it's one's mic. You're like you're like Tony Romo. You just don't stop. You well, at least I'm not Tony Robbins. <laughs> <laughs> Let your play-by-play guy do something. Yeah. Did I give it all away? No. Well, you know, 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 and uh, your introductions were, were very interesting and, and exciting. Um, obviously, some of you have been in POS, and that's been your focus. I hear a lot of others that are saying, you know, we're kind of reinventing, trying to figure this out. And, and really, that's why we're here. Uh, my marketing team came up with a tagline that I think kind of tells our story. And it's really, you know, we're here to help you guys do more and worry less, which if, you're, if you've been selling point of sale, it's exciting. It's also complicated. That's the selling part. Try to make it work, right? That's that's where we come in. Is, is making sure we get the merchants activated. Because if merchants don't get activated, nobody makes money and it gets ugly. So um, I should have brought my glasses. I don't know if anybody's heard of CDE. Uh, we're basically what I would call a almost 30-year-old startup company. Uh, some of you did mention you're kind of reinventing yourselves. I've been in the business. CDE is doing the same thing. Uh, those of you that may have worked with CDE in years gone by, up to probably that last logo, or our latest logo that we introduced two years ago, we were mostly known as a repair company. France 330s, bear from VX, whatever, we'd fix them and people like you would buy them and resell them. Well, that business isn't so fruitful anymore based on EMV and the fact that most terminals are, have come down in price to the point where they're almost disposable. So CDE had to find some things to do to, to change its model. And what we initially looked at was, okay, we'll, we'll get into this distributor game because everybody needs to upgrade EMV. Well, to get into a distributor game when there's already distributors, it's a little bit difficult. Because the only way I'm going to get your business is, is how I'm moving. But it's, it's a lower price, that's not fun. So we decided instead of trying to compete on price for a business that's kind of mature and going away, let's figure out where the ball is going, which is this evolution of new technologies around POS. Um, our biggest repair company, our biggest repair partner, is an organization that today is called Conduit. It used to be called ACS for any old timers that understand the old uh, EBT network. Xerox bought ACS. ACS is now conduit, but they do government payments, basically. And a lot of these government payments, because they're not going through the typical credit card <coughs> rails, don't require EMV. So guess what? We still do a lot of repair and things on old terminals. Uh, but the funny thing that happened is, because we were doing all their repairs, they were fielding first line calls and sending basically everything back to us because they don't understand terminals. <coughs> so they said, can you see if you can step in and be our first line of defense and help us troubleshoot some of these terminals so that not everything is coming back to us. Long story short, we ended up building a call center for one customer. That customer is Xerox and have kind of. So when we looked at where the industry is going and said, hey, all of the distributors out there do a great job putting a box in a truck and getting it to your merchant, not everybody does the things that we have done for Xerox, which is help them get activated, help them get up and running and then do on, ongoing support. So what we've put together is an end-to-end -to -end solution from a support perspective that addresses all these complexities that y'all are dealing with. So in addition to the fact that margins are going down in credit card processing, you've got all this new technology, new compliance rules, and this is where we've raised our hand and said, we'll be your partner, we'll help you navigate through this stuff. So whether it's point-to-point -point encryption, whether it's the emergence of tablet POS, and, and uh, Hunter made a, 
made a point earlier, there's not a single solution for everybody that's going to work. So you're going to end up seeing more and more opportunities and more and more solutions from some of my hardware friends back there, some of the gateway guys. There's going to be more solutions for different niches that if you want to address, you're going to have to be adaptable and support different things. Well, that gets pretty hard to do as a sales organization. So we're going to step in and say, you know what, we're going to help you address the support challenges um, of this evolving market. So kind of our current focus is the POS solutions emergence, right? Well, fits for this meeting, I guess. We uh, picked the right thing. The countertop is eroding. It's changing. And now if you've got a countertop terminal, it's typically integrated to something, whether it's a tablet POS, going to start to see even the, even the high-end micros and Aloha systems are going to have opportunities to sell EMV solutions into, but it's not like putting a terminal in the box and shipping it and hoping it works it gets, it gets a lot more complicated. Um, ISVs, you know, there's more software solutions for vertical markets to address. How does that work? Which hardware do you use? How does it get installed? What does the network look like? All of those things that work. We're putting our energy and resources and investing in CDE to make sure we can get your merchants up and running. So from an end-to-end -end perspective, we really have kind of four, what we call four service centers at CDE. Hardware provisioning, merchant activation, help desk, and then equipment replacement. So equipment replacement used to be, well, we'll repair it and we'll send out a refund doesn't necessarily work that easy anymore when you've got systems that are integrated and a multitude of different components that all have to operate together. So all of these service areas have different challenges and we have focused on all of these to, to build what we believe is the best of breed uh, from an organization able to do end-to-end -end solutions to ensure that conversion is right to processing. So this is kind of our core business. But when you look at tablet POS or you know, any type of POS versus countertop, the idea of shipping something to a merchant becomes much more of a challenge. And what happens when it arrives at the merchant? So we, we really focus on the, on the merchant experience. You know, we've done things like custom packaging. We have a solution back there um, from iMobile 3, who's another ISV, that they have a couple different hardware configurations we can put together that if you sent to a merchant in the OEM boxes and asked them to try to figure that out, I guarantee it's coming back. So we, we can do the pre-assembly, the packaging, so that when it gets to the merchant, they pull it out of the box, plug it in, our activation team reaches out to train them, help them through the install, things like that that help assure a good experience for the merchant that's gonna get them processing is really kind of what we're all about. So from a merchant, Activation perspective, it's everything from building a menu, reaching out and validating kind of the, the site survey, are you sure you have internet, do you have internet where you need internet, all of those types of questions are where we start working with your merchant to make sure everything's going to go smooth when, when the device gets there. Worst thing again, we all know this, is they get something, they get frustrated because it doesn't work and the whole relationship is different. So all of these things, you know, that are not revenue generating is where we're going to step in and, and help, help you. Um, we're seven by, 24 by 7 help desk, uh, multiple language support. We track all of the calls so that, you know, we provide reports to anybody that wants to know what's happening with the merchants, total transparency and visibility um, in terms of what's happening with the merchants. And then a little bit about, you know, this is, this is what we were based on. We were founded on this 28 years ago, we doing replacements and so forth. More complicated, as I said now, because there's more parts and all that needs to work together in harmony. But the logistics of it remain the same. So from our program, what are we doing? Sorry, Marty, I cut you off there. <laughs> my, my friends at PAX. Uh, but we, we can provide you equipment. We'll be um, sending out you know, price lists on all the things. Uh, I think uh, uh, 
uh, Dan mentioned, you know, we're, we're going to match all your current pricing, if not improve it uh, from a hardware perspective. We're, we're going to provide the POS deployment, the POS activation, uh, merchant training, and so forth, and then ongoing POS support. So, make sense? Yeah. Any questions? Sir? So, moving forward, obviously, we'll be supporting new merchants. What about the existing merchants on the way now? We hope to get your you want to mention the question is uh, our existing merchant base be in service right now? They're going to. So, that's up to each individual office. You have your existing merchants, and so our, our intent is uh, we're going to bring uh, CDE online at some point in December where all new orders will start to process through there, and then each office can decide what they want to do uh, with their existing merchant base. If they you know, want, wish to move them to services uh, that are provided by a CDE, that would be great. If you're happy and you don't want to make any changes at the merchant level, that works as well. Dalton. Um, so we're not going to call up anymore? We would call these guys? Correct. So just there is some differentiation between Android and Windows. Our intent in December is to bring Android support on through CDE, and then at a later date, Windows support. Right. What are their hours? Uh, they're 7 by 24 with a, a, their, st your standard is uh, 8 to 9. Correct. With a uh, with a very very small upcharge to go seven by twenty four, and the price list will come in the next few weeks. Eight to nine Pacific time, right? Yeah, eight to nine Eastern, I think. So eight to nine Eastern. The revenue side of this, uh, we're showing uh, deployment for these terminals. Are you going to be technical support for the terminals, or that's still going to be based on? Uh, uh, for the Android terminals, they'll do. No, no, you're talking about credit card terminals. The credit card terminals. Yeah, oh, yes. that's a really good, really good question. I would, I would, I don't want to speak for y'all, but I would say that's up to the individual office. To well, it's also up to the processor. If you're class A, if Ingenico is class A certified, I'm going to go, to, I'm going to go to support it there. But if, if it's PAX, maybe you know, if they're, if they're not a class A certified product, then the CDE is probably going to come into more play, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So based on just for revenue. Yeah. I sell it, you install it, you take care of it. Yep. Okay. You don't, yep. And if they have an issue, they train them, they do the menu build, you open the box and plug and play. It's just like a clover unit, for instance. Go ahead. So that's so we're keeping it simple, stupid. Keep it simple, stupid, the go-kart way. That'll be our new logo. Yeah. Go-kart. There, is, there remains the caveat. The yeah. There remains the caveat there about the differential between Android and Windows. You know, so, so again, when we bring Android on, one of the items on the price list will be an installation services to be provided by CDE directly to the merchant, and so that would solve that sort of hands-off solution um, or use case. Uh, when it comes to Windows, you know, that's something that we're bringing on lot later because there is additional complexity there. And, and I don't want to, you know, for people that are selling Windows solutions, you need to be prepared for a little higher level of involvement. Yeah, there, yeah. yeah. And with the, the, the advancement in, in the cloud technology and with the new Android and, and some of the stuff you're going to see with iMobile 3 and Linga, I believe you me, I'm, I'm a big Windows guy, but there's another reason I'm not selling Windows anywhere. I'll talk about that tomorrow, but uh, anyways. Go ahead, Mike. Any, any more questions? One more. Um, so having CDE deploy it directly to the customer and doing the uh, installation is optional. We can still have it sent to the office. And we can um, are we doing optionality on the install side? On the install side, there is an option, okay? And so, like, uh, again, on the Android product, when we bring it online, that product will ship from CDE, and so CDE will do some prep work to ship that to your office. And so there's, uh, there'll be some pricing to do the ship work and activation, some of what we have currently, but in terms of the merchant level installation and training services, it's your choice. You can contract with CDE or you can do that yourself. Okay, and we're gonna take a break here, but again, let's, let's give Randy a hand, our new partner.